Hey everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be playing a game. It's a modified version of Among Us, and all the questions are going to be about ions. So in the game Among Us, your job is to figure out who the imposter or imposters are in the game. They're going to be the ones that are killing the other people, and you get to vote in the end to figure out who they really are. All right, guys, so our Among Us is going to be slightly different, right? So you're going to tell me, are the questions that I'm giving you an ion, or is it going to be an imposter of an ion, okay? So your answer is either ion, yes, it is an ion, or no, it's not, which means it's an imposter of an ion. Let's go ahead and give one a shot. So look at this board diagram. I want you to pause the video and think about, is it an ion or is it an imposter of an ion? All right, let's go ahead and check the answer. So this is definitely an imposter of an ion, right? It's gonna be an isotope instead. So let's look at it and make sure we understand the answer. Here is our key over here, which tells us what colors represent what in our Bohr diagram. So our green are our protons. We have three of those. We also have three electrons. Because they're equal number of protons and electrons, it means we have a neutral atom. So this is definitely not an ion. Now our purples are gonna be our neutrons. We have four purple. Um, because we have a different number of protons and neutrons, this is going to be an isotope of that particular atom, okay? So let's go ahead and try another one. Tell me, are these facts an ion or an imposter? Go ahead and pause your video. All right, let's go ahead and look at the answer. So this is definitely going to be an ion, and let's look at why. If we go back and look at our, our problem, we had six protons, and we had seven electrons. So six positive protons and seven negative electrons. We're gonna have a charge of a negative one for our atom, which is called an ion. In this case, it's an anion because it's gonna be negatively charged, right? We also have six neutrons, uh, which doesn't really matter in this case, um, but we can see that we have equal number of protons and neutrons uh, in this particular example. Let's try another one. Carbon-14, pause your video and tell me, is this an ion or an imposter? And here's the answer. This is definitely an imposter, right? So if you look at this, this is how we write out an isotope rather than an ion. So the carbon-14, the, the 14 representing our atomic mass of a particular isotope. So this has nothing to do with ions whatsoever, right? Let's go ahead and try another one. Take a second, pause the video, and see is this an ion or an imposter? And here's the answer. So it is definitely gonna be an imposter. Um, it's another isotope, so let's check it out. So really what we wanna see here, we're comparing our protons and our electrons, right? If they're equal, it's neutral. If they're not equal, we have an ion. So um, in here with our red dots this time are going to be protons. So one, two, three protons. And we have electrons. One, two, three electrons. So we have equal number protons and electrons. So positives and negatives are equal, which means we have a neutral atom and it's not an ion. Okay. In this case, we do have four neutrons. This is definitely an isotope of this particular element. Okay. Let's try another one. In a negative. Pause your video. All right, here's the answer. So this is definitely gonna be an ion, right? This is ion notation. Uh, we go ahead and we write the, our element symbol. In this case, we're talking about sodium, so Na. And the negative, remember, it really has an understood one there. So what this is really saying is we have an atom that's an ion that's negatively one charged, okay? In other words, it's an anion. Let's try another one. A neutral atom loses an electron. Pause your video and think this one over. All right, let's go ahead and look at our answer. This is definitely gonna be an ion, right? So if we have a starting neutral atom, so it's not positive or negative, it's just neutral to start off with, and it loses an electron to another atom, right? It's gonna become positively charged because it just lost negative. So it's left with more positivity, right? It's left with one more proton 
than electron. In this case, it's going to be positively one charge because it lost one negative, and it's going to become a cation. So it is a form of an ion. Let's go ahead and look at one more. So a neutral atom has two or more neutrons, uh, two or more neutrons than protons. So pause your video and think this one through. And let's look at the answer. So this is an imposter, right? And this one is gonna be another isotope answer. So let's look at it. So we have a neutral atom and it has two more neutrons than protons. Um, so in this case, it's neutral, which means that the protons and electrons are equal to one another, therefore it has no charge. So right after we know that and we're only changing up our pro I mean our neutrons here, right? It has two more neutrons than a proton, than the protons in the nucleus. We're not changing the charge by adding or subtracting neutrons because neutrons are neutral. So that doesn't matter. That only changes it to a different isotope of that particular atom, right? Um, but because we're not changing the charge, we're not creating an ion. So this one is gonna just be an isotope. Let's look at the next one, cation. This one should be really easy. All right, and here's the answer. That one was a definitely an ion, right? So as you know, there's two versions of ions. There's a cation, which is positively charged, and an anion, which is negatively charged. This is definitely a version of an anion that's positively charged. And go ahead and take a look at this one. Pause your video and decide, is it an ion or an imposter? <clears throat> and here's the answer. So it is definitely gonna be an ion. Let's take a look at it. We have, green are our protons, so we have two protons in our nucleus, and we really wanna compare that to one of our electrons to see if it's an ion. So we have one negative electron and two positive protons. So this one is definitely gonna be an ion, and it's gonna be an ion by one positive charge, right? Because one negative cancels out the one positive and we're left over with one positive. Therefore, this is a cation by one, okay? One positive. And our neutrons, we have two neutrons. Um, you can see that we have equal number of neutrons and protons, just to note. Go ahead and try this one and pause it. And let's go ahead and look at our answer. So this one is an imposter. This is an isotope again. So if we go back and we look at it, we have 10 positive protons and we have 10 negative electrons. So this is gonna be a neutral atom. In other words, it's not an ion at all. Now, if we look here, we have 11 neutrons. So we have a different number of protons and neutrons. So this is definitely one particular isotope of that atom, right? Okay. So did you survive? <laughs> were, you the, were you the one that got booted out of the ship like you see so many people do, right? Or did you actually live and were able to figure out who the imposters were and who the imposters weren't? I hope this was so helpful, you guys. So if you had some fun playing this Among Us game today, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can see all the videos that I'm posting on Science Explained. Thank you all so much for watching and playing along. Bye, everybody.